Hi, and welcome to CCC Reviews on this Valentine's weekend. CCC is for Chris yeah, and Chowder. Uh, we'd also like to start off a video uh, from, from direction from our non-existent legal team that our Chowder Reviews are purely our own opinions and that everybody has their own opinions on how they like their Chowder. Uh, so take it for what it is when we do ours. We also do have our usual live studio audience in the house today. Our live studio audience, how are you guys doing today? Good. All right. And how's this, how's this chowder smell? Yummy. I just want the bread. <laughs> well, today we went to Soup the Nuts in the storage marketplace. It has been there for 38 years. Uh, Cameron, we went there today. What did you think about Soup the Nuts? Um, I thought it was kind of like a small little comfort kind of place. I felt like the environment was really good. Um, I don't really know if I would say it's a family restaurant, but I would go there if I had a family. Well, my family, I would go there with my family, so I guess. We have gone there as a family, by the way. <laughs> yep. So uh, there's a quaint little place inside the marketplace. Um, we went there. There is seating available uh, inside, and they also have like a uh, seating that's in the hallway that's very nice and a uh, very nice little place to eat at. Uh, like I said, it's been there for 38 years uh, in town. Uh, old man moment of the show. Um, in case for you other people remember, uh, the marketplace slash the mill yard um, used to have Calabungas. Calabungas is the first place I really knew that had the waffle cone ice cream and was really excited about that back in the day. And, um, you know, great ice cream place back in the day. Um, so first, uh, we're going to go, we actually got two different chowders, correct? We got clam chowder, and what else did we get? Corn chowder. The corn chowder down there, okay? So we're going to start off with the clam chowder. Um, oh, just so the pricing, what we did, we actually bought a quart of each over there, and a quart are $25 each, Okay. So we got a quart of each, just so you have a price range of how much they cost. Uh, first of all, we'll get the spoon test here of the clam chowder. And, uh, okay, we're not going to do the spoon test? You're going to go right into eating it, huh? Hmm. Got to do the spoon test. Got to show the camera. Okay. See what we got, we got here. So very chunky. We got some good chunks of potato in there, huh? Oh, so there, you got a nice little... Uh, we're going little bowls then. You can start in. Yep. There's a big chunk right there. So, very good. Good looking. Let's see how it tastes here. A very hearty chowder, isn't it? <clears throat> I don't know what that means. Hearty. It's very thick. Oh, yeah. It's got some big chunks in it. Um, it's got some celery in there. I do see that. Um, big chunks of potato. <clears throat> There's some very, other green stuff in there. I don't know exactly what that is. I would say it has a very smoky taste. It does. It does a, a smoky taste to it. Uh, very good. Um, so why I take another bite, Candy? Why don't you uh, give a reading for this chowder? Um, I give it an 8.7. I really like the smoky taste, and I um, really like the chunks. I thought it was very chunky in a good way. Yeah, I think it was. Uh, that was a very good chowder, and um, well worth the name Soup the Nuts. I mean, that's what they do. They do soups. Uh, I don't know about the nuts, nuts part, but they definitely do soups and chowders, apparently. Very good. Um, I'm going to go a pretty, pretty, pretty high score for what I've done. Uh, previously, I'm going to go with, a, with an 8.4 on this one. Now, we also got, like I said, the corn chowder. Let's clean off the spoons. And uh, usually we do the cracker test. Um, Soon enough, it doesn't have crackers there. What they did do, uh, asked, and they got us some of this bread that looks delicious. Okay? So I would eat that on the side, personally. I'm not much of a... Um, Put this type of bread in there. I don't know what kind of bread it is. It smells delicious, huh? Got to go with that. Well, we're going to have some of that later. So, But we're going to go into the corn chowder. Now, the corn chowder is, is, is really thick. All right? 
And you can literally see the gentleman, uh, the gentleman there is really nice, um, literally uh, taking these chowders right out of the, the big huge pots right behind. So it's all right there, you can see what's going on. Again, uh, good sized pieces of uh, potatoes. You know what it is? I think they're red bliss potatoes. You can see that. Celery, big chunks of celery, lots of corn, very, very thick. Let's try this. And the corn taste comes through very good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. With everything else there, um, they make sure that the corn is the star of this cheddar, doesn't don't they? Mm -hmm. You know, with the big chunks of celery and the potatoes and everything, the the corn is the uh, the star here. Hmm. For the corn chowder, now it doesn't have as smoky a taste as a clam chowder, does it? But I think that that kind of brightens up the, the freshness of the corn. I think in my in my case. So tell me, what did you think about the corn chowder? What kind of rating would you give the corn chowder? Um, before I give my rating, I was never really a corn chowder kind of person, but this blew me away. I really liked it. Um, and I thought the corn really stuck out and that they really made that really stick out with everything else in there i would give it um probably an 8.7 also 8.7 8.7 mm -hmm. okay um as you guys know i've talked before i'm more of a clam chowder type of guy but this corn chowder is is very good and, and that seems to be all the hype that i've heard about in sturbridge um i'm gonna go you know what i like the 8.7 i do like the score it's a high score and i think it's it's well deserved uh, in this case so all right well that's all of us from ccc reviews uh please uh click the like button leave a comment and maybe soon subscribe so thank you very much for stopping by you guys have a great valentine's weekend yeah I do yeah okay good <laughs>